Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. Today I'm going to show you how to modify and unmodify a Mission Cyrus 2 for usage with a PSX power supply. Now the first thing you have to make sure when you want to modify your Cyrus 2 for usage with a PSX power supply is that your two components are having about the same age. For example, the older versions of the Cyrus 2 had a red backlit logo rather than this modern silver logo. They also had a push button switch rather than this flip up and down switch. If your Mission Cyrus 2 looks different from your PSX, I wouldn't recommend uh, modifying the system by yourself because Cyrus at some point changed the voltages and you may end up causing some serious problems when you mix uh, components with a different age with each other. So that is the one point you have to keep in mind. When that has been checked you can go ahead and open up your Cyrus 2. As you can see, the Mission Cyrus 2 has screws there on each side and on the back side, right there and right there. And those have to be taken out. Now, these are special screws, so you have to have a special screwdriver. You also have to unscrew the little Fono ground screw right there. And here we have the inside of the Cyrus 2 amplifier. And the spot that we are interested in is right down there. You can see these two fuse holders. One is marked FS1, the other one is marked FS2. Now the previous owner of this amplifier had a PSX power supply. I originally bid on the PSX power supply, I got this all off eBay, but I didn't want the auction, so I'll have to get a PSX power supply at a later point, so I'll have to remove the modification, I have to unmodify the amplifier. And that is as simple as putting the fuses back in place. And you can see that Cyrus did give you a label down there, F means fast blow, 4.0 amperes. So here we have two 4 ampere fast blow fuses and it's as simple as putting these in place. And of course if you want to modify your Cyrus 2 for usage with a PSX power supply you have to remove those fuses. And it might be a good idea to keep those fuses in case you later on want to unmodify your amplifier again for whatever reason. So there you have it. For as long as your PSX and your Cyrus 2 are out of the same generation, modifying and unmodifying the amplifier is not a big problem. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you've enjoyed this video and see you again soon.